The reason it's called the holy grail to investing is because I interviewed Ray Dalio, you know, 10 years ago. Now we've become good friends over the years. And I asked him a simple question. I said, the most successful investor in history, he's got his fund manages Bridgewater almost $200 billion in business. He do it for countries even. And I said, you've got the big, best track record out there. What is the single most important investment principle that any investor needs to know? He goes, Tony, you know the importance of diversification, but people think of that in general, don't put too many eggs in one basket. He said, I turned that into a science of saying, how do I get the asymmetric risk reward? I have the least amount of risk and the most amount of upside. And he said, I found out it's simply this. He called it the holy grail. He goes, the holy grail of investing is to find eight to 12 uncorrelated investments. Now, uncorrelated, just so everybody understands, stocks and bonds usually have been uncorrelated. The idea that people put you in like 60% stocks and 40% bonds is that, okay, when stocks go down, bonds will make up for it or vice versa. Well, the only problem with that is during really rough times like 2020, they both went down equally. 2008, down. huge drops. And then your broker will tell you, gosh, no one could foresee this. It happens every time. You can foresee it. Right. So, right. But, but, but they don't foresee it is what they're really saying, right? So right. he said, look, you find eight to 12 uncorrelated investments, you reduce your risk 80% and you increase your upside. You are protecting mm -hmm. yourself while increasing your, your lowering your risk and re increasing your return. So it's like taking those core four and putting them on steroids that I told you. Yeah, you guys, here's the value of all of this. Just I want to just stamp this for a second too, okay? It's the holy grail of investing. You need to go get it or pre-order it now. It wasn't until I was worth nine figures that I knew what private equity was 